Ay ay Tell any but jelly but my mele my bang is so hang a girl she bite me Ay ay Four double one in LSE In the building in the speaking I'm a C Ay ay Smoke see the penny pay, penny pay, penny pay hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new here i am lebron sweeney and thank you for landing or finding my page and welcome to my world on today's video i'll be showing you how i achieved this simple hairstyle that i did previously in my wash day routine video but this version is the better version it is the sleek look the one that i did um in my previous video was just a slap bang thing just so that i was able to obviously air dry my hair and stretch it as well um for me this look it lasts between three to four days four days i'm really pushing it but yeah i could say that it is perfect for over the weekend or just during the week and then you might obviously need to tweak it up again so let's get into it so firstly i am moisturizing my hair with water mixed with um leave-in conditioner in a spray bottle as i won't be applying products due to the fact that i previously washed my hair yesterday so i don't want to overload my hair with products and now i am opening the line to section my hair properly i always and prefer to use a rat tail comb as it's more precise as compared to any other comb i'm dividing my hair into four sections and will be doing four space buns and i'll be using darly kinky hairpiece and iso plus styling gel I also use the ISO Plus Edge Control Gel to help with um, the lines. It just makes it easier to open up the lines um, for me. Yo, guys, I'm going to move on my line. Yo, yes, <laughs> um forgive me please if my lines are a bit skew yo it's hard doing this alone so now i am just spritzing a little bit more water just to soften my hair up and to also make it easier for the styling gel to get absorbed um by my hair it's yo my type 4c hair takes a while for it to like you know absorb in any product so that's why i will always start with water and leave-in conditioner it just makes the whole process way easier i am doing the back section first and yeah forgive me please as i said before my lines will be skew it's very hard to open lines at the back especially when you can't even see and now i am just combing my hair with an afrochrome and also using a brush to be able to lay my hair down the afrochrome i just used to you know be able to um literally comb out my hair properly because you know how 4c hair is it, it shrinks very easily and i always make sure to add extra gel there at the back my hair is very coily and coils up very easily so extra gel and a whole lot of brushing is needed there at the back see how nice it looks there at the back so now i am doing the front section this is the last part i know the other part doesn't look as neat um 
it'll look neat right like when i'm done with this part i'm gonna go back and fix it up and zhuzh it up and sleek it down a bit so literally what i did at the back i will be doing in the front basically no change like spray here with water and then add a styling gel and just like basically rake in that styling gel into the hair you know so like it gets in from root to tip even in the middle like from corner to corner you know and then yeah just using that afro comb again just combing my hair out so it doesn't shrink and getting all those um knots out and then i'm gonna um brush it and then tie it down and then brush it some more and then what i also use is edge control gel but not the iso plus one um that no it is the iso plus it's not edge control sorry it's the molding gel the one for the dreads i use that in front it also helps to lay your your hair um not necessarily baby hairs i'm not doing baby hairs i'm just laying my hair flat because as i said my hair is really very coily especially around the hairline of my hair it just helps to you know just slick it down and you know make it just neat looking especially for this type of look so now i am just securing my hair and um not necessarily tightening the buns but it's just a bit easier to now lay my hair even more because i've brush brushed so much that it's laying down and it's you know doing what it's supposed to do so now i am just adding the edge control on my hairline just to lay my hair down as i said it gets, it's very coily and sometimes it'll coil up and then it's as if i did not do anything yeah well this is the most easiest go-to hairstyle i have tried and perfect for any occasion um you can literally do this the night before if you are going somewhere um the next day and if your hair does not dry up the following day because i know how natural hair can be it takes a, a, a little bit longer for that styling to gel to gel I mean that styling gel to dry um you can always use a hair dryer to dry it down or um you can use a the hood dryer attachment thingy and that worked wonders for me because yeah, you know, when i did this when i woke up the following day the styling gel was still a bit wet so the hood dryer helped me a lot So you know me and my trusted durag i always use a durag to lay my hair down perfect because it also does not slip off as compared to a satin duck and also a satin bonnet is obviously not suitable for such a hairstyle especially since it's wet so yeah this is um, my durag and i use this to just you know sleek it down even more and just help it to um set overnight
so it's the next day and my hair is set and dry now it's time to add the darling kinky babies so i literally use four pieces of the hair piece um together to obtain um the bun that i'll be doing so now i am grabbing my hair that is in a bun and i'm twisting the one side of the um hair piece on my hair around and around and around like a merry-go-round that's basically what i'm doing it this is like literally doing a bantu knot if you have done those before and now i'm twisting it around in the opposite direction and i'm just placing the end piece underneath to secure it i don't use any pins to secure it i just tuck it nicely underneath and voila so what i did in the back i'm doing in the front again and i am twisting around and around and basically just hiding my hair with the kinky hair piece basically and just yar yeah, creating the space button So this is the completed look, space buns on natural hair. Don't forget to comment below uh, for any suggestions on hairstyles you would like me to try out. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and follow and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys like the video and will definitely try this hairstyle for yourself. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow my channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on my content of course. Anyway, love you. See you next time. Bye. Feel any way, Jenny, but my man, my bank is so hung up, I see by pain. Die, die, four double one in the lessee, in the building, in the speaking, I'm a scene. Bye, die, smoke's in the.